Hey, it's Amy. Are you ready for 30 minutes? Total workout from head to toe. We're gonna work every muscle. You'll need some weights, light, medium, or heavy. You're gonna need a mat. We're gonna get down on the floor at the very end. As always, listen to your body. Don't do anything that hurts. If you don't have your equipment, hit pause, go get it, come back. And we're gonna warm up, ready to go. Here we go, march in place. All right, this is a full body workout for every fitness level. You can bring it up by adding weights, heavy weights. You can bring it down to a medium level by not having any weights at all. I'll show you lots of variations. Just try it. Every time you do it, it'll get easier and easier and you'll get stronger and stronger. Side step, always warming up the muscles. I'm a little bit cold now, not for long. <laughs> We're gonna get that blood flowing. Send those endorphins to the brain. Add the arms. We're gonna build strength. We're gonna build endurance. And we're gonna build happiness. Add some butt kickers for me, stretching the front of the leg. Making sure my shoelaces is tied. I heard a little flopping, but it's okay. We're all good, I won't fall down on you. <laughs> Although that video could go viral. <laughs> Ready, we're gonna stretch arms up over our heads. Here we go. Warming up the back, warming up the sides, warming up the shoulders. Point your toes, stretch out. You are going to reach in front now, and reach, and reach. Have you probably noticed if you've seen a couple of my videos by now, I do the same sort of warm up. It's tried and true, it gets your body warm, and then you don't have to think about any fancy moves. New, new choreography, call it that. You can do the same warm up and get your blood flowing. Good, reach hamstrings back, excuse me, calf stretch. All right, bring that back foot in one little step. Front heel down, sink down, stretch the hamstrings. Excellent. Just a quick stretch. We're gonna get warm very quickly on this one. Coming on up, bring that foot that was in front now back and stretch out the calf and reach. Good. And reach. Reach your arms up, pull them down and reach and pull. Good, bring that back foot in. Stretch out the hamstring, sinking down. How's everybody today? I'm feeling very good. We're gonna all feel really good in about 28 more minutes. All right, come on up, big arm circles. You never ever regret exercising. I never do. What you regret is not exercising. How many times have you missed your workout? And go, oh, darn it, I feel so bad. But then when you do a workout and you're done, you feel so good about accomplishing it. Your body feels good. You're ready to take on the day or finish a stressful day. Arms open wide, give yourself, actually we forgot to give ourselves a hug. Here we go, big hug. Arms open wide. Good, flat back, and then roll up. Flat back, and roll up. Good job. Hey, it's Amy, and I'm interrupting this workout because I want to share some valuable insights with you. You see, I filmed this workout several years ago, and since then, I've gained a wealth of knowledge on how to stay fit over 50 without risking injury. Throughout this video, I'll be popping in to offer tips to enhance the effectiveness of this workout. Also, I'll be sharing modifications specifically tailored for any of you that are dealing with osteoporosis. Let's make this workout not just effective, but also safe and enjoyable for everyone. Flat back, 
and roll up. One more for me. Flat back and roll up. All right, we're going to grab some weights. I'm going to stay lighter than I normally do just so I can talk to you guys. I want you to grab the heaviest weight that you feel comfortable with for a deadlift. All right, I'm going to show heavy weights, knees slightly bent. You're going to come down. The weight's going to brush your, thigh, your thighs, then your shins, flat back, squeeze your buns right here and lift up. So you come down and you lift. It's a movement with the butt, not the back. Heavier weight's better. Really squeeze your buns as you come up. Good. Great knee-friendly exercise right here. But you gotta make sure that you're not lifting your back. You're not using your back to lift up, excuse me. All right, you're gonna stay in this position. You're gonna give me a row with those same heavy weights. If you need to drop down, do so. Otherwise, stick with them because the back is really strong. Bending down and rowing. Good, hold that tummy in nice and tight and row. Now I can usually do maybe 10 to 12 here. Um, so push yourself, experiment. Next time you do this one, try a little bit heavier. If you need to drop down, have that lighter weight close and drop down. My goal for you in this workout is to hit every single muscle in just 30 minutes. Good. I'm going to drop down. You can, um, you can keep those weights if you want, but I'm not going to use them today. This is the moderate version. You're going to come out to a side lunge, and then you're going to bring the leg back into a curtsy, and a side lunge, and a curtsy. Now, as intensity goes, you can stay up nice and tall for a low intensity move. Or if you want high intensity, you bring it down and bring it down. And if you want even higher, you have those weights in your hand, adding more weight. Good. Last one. Good. We're going to go to the other side. Even one weight. If you just want to hang on to one weight, that's another weight to bring up the intensity. You pick. You can stay nice and tall. Watch the knees. This is good enough. If you're down and you're just playing and you're just starting out, then you can get down deep, down and dirty here. Good. Excellent. Oh, my heart rate's coming up. Whenever you use those thighs, man, that's what makes you burn some calories. Last one. Now I want you to pick up you can do a, a medium, medium to a lighter weight. I'm going to choose my lighter weight. We're going to work the shoulders, shoulder press. All you're doing, elbows together for this one, as opposed to out to the side, which we normally do. We're going to have them here. Good. Shoulder press. Palms facing each other. Last one. All right, I'm gonna go back to my little bit heavier weight for my deadlifts and rows. Okay, here we go. Deep breath, knees slightly bent. We're gonna start our deadlifts. Down and up, here we go. Down and up, and down and up. You got this. Make this workout your own, depending on the level of intensity you want today. Push yourself as always. But if you're just starting out, I want you to take it a little bit easier. Last two. Last one. Excellent. Shake out those legs. Come down for a rose next. Deep breath in. Leaning forward. Abs pulled in and rowing up. Hold that tummy tight. The minute you feel any pain in your low back from being over in this position, bend your knees even more or just come on up. And then you can get back down. Just give it a little bit of a rest. 
And last one. I'm gonna go ahead and just set one weight down. I'll keep a weight for this one. Since last time it wasn't too intense. Keeping one weight, you can hold it right here. We're gonna go side lunge and then a curtsy. And a side lunge and a curtsy. Good. And curtsy. Beautiful. Ooh, this works the legs. Side lunge and curtsy. Remember, bringing your shoulders back, nice posture. Excellent. Shake that out and we'll catch the other side. Here we go, other side, side lunge and a curtsy. I'm gonna move over, side lunge and a curtsy. There we go, side lunge, curtsy. Ooh, sink into that hip. Sink. Pushing off with your foot. Right here, push. Ah, you only got one more of those. Last one. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and keep those fives. I'm feeling strong. Started out with three just to test the water. Feeling good, so we're gonna go up a little bit. Play with it, shoulder press. Up and down. Beautiful. Hold that tummy in, keep the shoulders away from your ears. Breathing out on the way up. I like to keep my knees slightly bent, not lock them out. Locking them out, you can get, you can get dizzy, you can pass out if you're not careful. Okay, that extra two pounds, I'm feeling it. <laughs> All right, set those weights off to the side. Make sure you've got some room because we're gonna move a little bit with some skaters. All right, no weights, please. And deep breath. Here we go, these aren't too bad. We're skating, okay? Okay, are we ice skating? Yep, we probably have to ice skate. I don't think we would do this with roller skates or roller blades. Skating, although we don't have much ice skating here in California. Well, I guess unless you're in a rink. <laughs> skating, skating, keep going. Little hops if you want. You don't have to hop. You can step side to side if you'd like. That was it. All right, one medium weight. All right, this is gonna be intense, guys. I'm gonna get you started. Wide leg squats, bending down, elbow into your inner thigh, bicep curl, okay? You're here, baby, and you're lifting heavy weights. All right, here we are, we're bodybuilders now. All right, if that, is that, if that bothers you, just be up here, no big deal. Otherwise, get down there. Bicep curl. Okay, gang, we could probably do eight to tens on this one with the bicep. Now, what's burning is the legs. All right, light weights. Two, please. You can keep that single weight close if you need it. Back flies. Feet shoulder width apart, bending flat over, out. Wrapping your arms around a great big beach ball, bringing your shoulder blades together. Abs tucked in, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. You got this one. Keep going, give me a couple more. Two and one. Good job. You can use one weight or two. I'm just gonna keep these two. We're gonna do tricep overhead extensions, bringing both arms all the way up. Your arms can be separate, or you can put them together. Or if you want, it's sometimes easier to just drop one weight and use one weight. Okay, keep those knees bent. I want you to really hold that tummy in tight. Elbows stay into your head. Lifting with the back of your arms up to the ceiling. You should have a heavy enough weight where it's burning right now, okay? You, should need, to be, you need to be challenging yourself if you're, if you're there. All right, good, back to the first, or first round, some more skaters. We're gonna do that all one more time. Deep breath in, ready, on your mark. 
Get set, go skaters. 30 seconds of skaters. Nice cardio move. Get that blood pumping, burn some calories. Again, you can make it as wide as you want or you can bring it down. Excellent. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we got to get the other arm. Remember, we only did one arm last time. So we're going to do our wide leg squat or sumo squat. We're going to take it in the other hand. You're going to squat down, get that elbow in there, and give me a bicep curl. Remember, you don't have to be this intense. You can come up. You can be here if you'd like. Or you're down there letting that leg burn, burn baby. And also building those, the, those guns. <laughs> what do they call it? The gun show. <laughs> Keep going. Last one. And last one. Grab those light weights, please. Back flies. Deep breath in and go. Beautiful work. How are you doing, all right? How are your joints? I really, really, really don't want you to move and do some of these things if your joints start to hurt because then I won't see you again tomorrow. You'll miss a workout because you're in pain. Over 50. You can't do what you did at 20 and 20 and 5 and 30. Tricep overhead extension. I know we want to think that, but it's super important to listen more carefully to our bodies so we can keep doing the things that we love to do all the way up. Down and up. Tricep overhead extension. Next move, we're going to get on the mat. Keep those elbows in. Smile, everybody smile. Last one. Grab those mats quickly, quickly. Ready to say goodbye to those pesky aches and pains? Introducing the Be Healthy Enough Digital Fitness Studio, your go-to online destination for women over 50 who are ready to get moving and feel better better than ever. This workout video is proudly brought to you by Be Healthy Enough, where we understand the unique needs of our bodies as we age. I'm 61 now. Our tailored programs include strength training, cardio, some low and some high for our bones, Pilates, balance, posture, and more. Stay motivated and supported every step of the way with me, your online personal trainer, and our vibrant Be Healthy Enough community. Together, we're going to conquer those fitness goals and embrace a healthier lifestyle. Ready to join the movement? Click that link below and let's start this journey together. Got to move quick when you only got 30 minutes. Okay, on your mat. Okay, I'm going to give you an option for those of you hard bodies that want to work out even more, I want you to grab a weight, okay? You're going to be laying on your back and you're going to take that weight and add a little extra to your bridge. How about that? All right. So you're in a bridge position. You've added some weight, more resistance. Again, you don't need that if you don't want it. You can take it off. Pushing up. Squeezing the butt cheeks together. Last two. And last one. If, you've, if this is your first time with this workout, I want you to not use a weight for this, this move. It's a pullover and a leg lower. I'm going to use a very light weight just to show you. Legs all the way up, arms up. You're going to make a V, and then you're going to come up. You're going to make a V, and then you're going to come up. Low back stays glued to the mat. Heavier weights, of course, a lot harder. Good, keep going. Give me a few more. Don't go so low that the low back pops up. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. Take that one weight. I'm going to go do a little bit heavier. 
You can take the one weight, grab both hands, and I want you to give me a skull crusher. A little bit different than we've done in some of the other workouts in that you're holding one weight and you're bringing it to your forehead. Work in the back of the arms. This is actually a little too light, but we're working the back of the arms and just a little bit of a weight is fine. Good. Next time you do this workout, if you need some more weight, you just make sure you have it close by. Last two. Last one, good. Now we get to do a bicycle. Here we go, hands behind the head. Give me a bicycle. Beautiful, 30 seconds. And that's already gone by. Now it's only 15 seconds. Make it good, twist as much as you can. Bring that bottom leg straighter. Can you bring it even lower? And last one. Woohoo! Now we're going to do roll ups. Arms all the way out. Actually, we're going to start here so there's no momentum. And you're going to roll all the way up. And then you're going to roll all the way down. And you're going to roll all the way up. Stretch and give me another roll all the way down. Modify this if you need to. You know how to do that. Keep going if you're doing a full roll up. You just grab your legs and pull up. Grab your legs and pull up. Last one. We're lay back down. We're gonna do all of those one more time. Bridge with the weight. Decide if you want that or not. You're up and down. Good job. Again, if you, if intensity level, if you want even more, bring your thighs together. Squeeze your thighs up at the top. I know you only have 30 minutes and your time is precious, so if you want to make the most of it, get the most workout you can, do a little bit more intensity. Ah, oh, all right. Oh my goodness. We're adding a little bit of bonus to the second round. How about that? Single leg. All right, coming back up into a bridge. Sorry, I have to readjust. <laughs> Bring it up into a bridge. Take away your left leg and come down and up. Good, single leg bridge. This is pretty intense. But just wait for the next one. <laughs> Last two, last one. Give me a little bit of a rest. Now we're gonna stay there. Bring that, that foot up and you're gonna circle the leg around. And then the other direction. And bring it down, other side. Deep breath in. Actually, we give a little rest. Bring that knee in that we just worked. All right, now back to the other side. So you're gonna lift up, opposite leg, down and up. Single leg bridge. Now I'm bringing my legs straight up. There are options here. You can have your leg at knee level. You can put your foot on the opposite leg. Good. Two and one. Now come up, stay up and circle the leg all the way one way oh and then back the other way circle 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 five four three two and one bring it down bring that leg that you were working into your chest we're going to do another pull over with the leg lower grab that weight lightweight or no weight at all if this is your first time going through this routine legs up lower and lift if you want even more, you reach up and you reach your shoulder blades up. <laughs> or you keep your head down and you're lowering and lifting up. <laughs> okay.
Keep going, keep going. Two more. Last one. Oh, I feel that one. <laughs> oh, heavier weight, one weight, or if you've got two weights close by, we're gonna do another skull crusher. Deep breath in, almost done gang. Hang in there with me, don't leave me. Bring the weights down to your the skull. And there, there we go. Work in the back of the arms. Do not hit your head. Ooh, extra credit here. Squish the low back into the mat. Work the back of the arms. Don't hold your breath. A little bit extra. Bring the elbows down to the mat and then press straight up. Tricep press-ups. Good job. 15 more seconds. Push it. That extra little burn after the skull crusher, you can feel it. Work in the back of the arms, which we already worked with standing overhead tricep extension. Two and one. Give me a bicycle. In three seconds, hands behind your head, deep breath in, bicycle it out. I'm going pretty fast on this one. Maybe I want it to be over faster, but that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> you can go slow if you want. <laughs> Just means you have to do more. <laughs> Three, two, one. No more bicycles, gang. But we do have a roll up. Oh, Just a few more exercises and then we get to stretch. You are almost done. Almost there, don't leave me. And roll down. And roll up. And roll down. And roll up. And roll down. Come all the way up. Give me one little stretch, extra stretch. And then you're gonna slowly one vertebrae at a time. All oh, the abs are tired. Go, 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 go. Oh, you did it. Now we get to stretch. Oh, thank you, God, for letting me finish that one. <laughs> Hamstring stretch. Bring your right leg up. Circle that foot around. 30 minute, every muscle in your body. Check. You're ready to take on your day. Or, better yet, give me a little stretch, 15 minute stretch or some, oh, some foam rolling. Now that would feel good. Put your foot on the opposite leg. If you haven't done foam rolling, you've got to do it. It's great if you're sore or if you've got some chronic issues with some knees, back, shoulders, hips. Don't leave me. I want you to finish up this stretch. Stretching out the hips. Now we're gonna come back to the other side. Circle your foot around. Stretching out the back of your leg. Now put that foot on the opposite leg. Oh, thread the needle. Ooh, that side's tighter. Give me another deep breath while we're here and relax. Now you're gonna roll yourself up to sitting and bring the soles of your feet together to stretch out your inner thigh. All right, you did something very amazing for your body today. Every muscle got your heart rate up. Now I wanna make sure you fuel it you cannot exercise away a bad diet. Just because you did this doesn't mean you can go eat junk food. I want you to eat some good veggies. I want you to get some lean protein. Upper back, around your back, separate your shoulder blades. Some healthy carbs, whole grains. Oh, and lots and lots of water. And then back, 
arms back to stretch out your chest. Oh, breathe. Take a breath and you open up your chest muscles. Now bring one arm across. Give me a nice shoulder stretch. Tilt your head away from that shoulder to get a stretch through your neck. And come to the other side. Start with your shoulder stretch. Tilt your head away. Excellent. With your feet crossed like this, hopefully if you can't cross, don't worry about it. I want you to lean forward. You'll feel a stretch through your hips. And then come up and I want you to um, cross the other way. It's not very easy to do sometimes. And I want you to lean forward and stretch your hips some more. And come forward. Just take a deep breath. Ready? And hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it out. One last deep breath. Fill your body with oxygen. Breathe in. Here we go. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Let it out. You are done. You did a great job. I hope you enjoyed this updated workout. Give me a thumbs up if the answer is yes. I have a lot more to share, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when a new one is released. Oh, and leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you need help making a modification to any move because modifying is not cheating. Have a great day. Bye.